Hello everybody, I am Mars Capone and as you can see this is Elden Ring and now that we have uh, seen the credits, well actually I haven't seen the credits yet <laughs> but I wanted to, to start the bonus episodes um, so let's do that so I want to create a few characters so I started my playthrough as a warrior pretty sure so I also want to make an astrologer. So if you've seen my other Dark Souls 1 to 3 playthrough, um, Skyrim, um, what, what other games did I play? <laughs> I usually try and make Lazine, uh, the sorcerer. So she's a sor an uh, astrologer in this case. Um, I've been trying to make some uh, presets and I gotta say Dark Souls 2 is the best Souls game and before you go uh, type in the comments <laughs> to uh, let me finish uh, to create a, a pretty girl character I, I have a lot of trouble creating nice looking girl characters but I think uh, I may have succeeded a little bit or close enough so this was my first attempt at Lazine. I'm not super happy with it. This is my second attempt. I think this is fine. I'm pretty happy about this. So there we are. Origin, um, Astrologer, Keepsake. Oh, this is rough. I think I want to go with the Golden Seat. I don't think there's any better starter item. So I think we're good and I can always change it if I want to I think in this game yes so here we are in game pretty cool hey <laughs> my first spell I think I'm pretty happy with how she looks the noses in this game are so difficult to make I don't know why or how or what yeah I don't get it why are noses so difficult to make in this game? But, uh, yeah, I can live with this. First door opening sequence. Very epic, as per usual. Oh yeah, let's look at ourselves in the sunlight. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty happy. I'm also going to do a playthrough with Cresconio, and um, for that I want to make Kabarum. Kabarum. Um, he's old. Does it matter if I if I do detailed load favorite this guy? I, I attempt to make one character as ugly as possible. I don't know if I succeeded, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, aged. Yeah. Prophets. He's a prophet. He gets... Well, I was gonna give him something. Yeah, he's gonna get some ashes. Because I haven't used these ashes at all. And I'm kind of curious how they work. So, I think Kabarum is gonna focus on ashes. And uh, miracles, or whatever they're called in this game. <laughs> High faith, anyway. So, uh... And he has... He has, uh... <laughs> Yeah, an eye patch and a uh, blindfold, so... His backstory is that he's a crazed... Well, cleric, I guess. <laughs> he's gone crazy, he's been too... reading too much books. Uh, so, yeah. So, I think... You have a spear, right? Interesting. I think this... The thing I have in my hand is uh, to summon these ashes, but you can only summon them if there's a little grave symbol on the screen, I think. And there's not, so I can't summon them right now, so, uh, so I don't know what it will look like. I don't think I make any chance against this first boss, since I hate this boss. <laughs> Even when I'm overpowered and I see one, I... Uh don't want to fight it, so... But let's give it a go, right? May as well. 
I don't know if my I don't know if my shield is gonna work. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be something for New Game Plus. <laughs> I really don't want to try this. Uh, I don't have healing. I don't have healing. I don't have. Healing. Oh. Getting further than on our first run. How can I heal? I can heal. Ah, please! <laughs> nice try. So I don't know what the difference is between the confessor. Do you do you have a story? A little story maybe? You know, just stats. And the prophets. And then we have the astrologer and the prisoner. You do? Yeah, you have high intelligence too. And Samurai. Bandits. So yeah, I don't know what the difference is between Astrologer and Prisoner and uh, between Prophet and Confessor. But I also want to make... Hero? Strength? Yeah. Um, so I have two appear appearances left. I had a lot of trouble making Lua. So if you've seen my Dark Souls 1, 2, 3 and uh, other games, I try to make Zalua. But she always has purple pigtails. But there's no pigtails in this game. Uh, yeah. No pigtails. No pigtails. No, uh, I guess maybe these could count. No pigtails in this game. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. This is the first Souls games without pigtails. Blood Bloodborne also doesn't have pigtails, but that's Bloodborne. It's fine by me. <laughs> so yeah, I went with this. I had trouble making her look feminine. She looks kind of masculine, I think, in a way. And so does my my last character, maybe. Does she look masculine? Or maybe... I don't know. Maybe it's the short hair. But, uh... Yeah, it's Lua. So she's gonna be a hero. Oh yeah, you have a name? What kind of keepsake do you want? You can have... A golden seed too, I think. So if any of my characters can beat this boss, it's gonna be this one. Oh lord, <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> and then I have one left. I, I don't know if I'm happy with the hair. There's not a lot of good hair in this game. Maybe I should just go for a ponytail. Maybe that's better. Maybe there's a better similar face. I kind of like this one, I think. So this is gonna be Chotira. It's, I think it's a little too ambitious to play this game with four or five characters. <laughs> uh, considering how long this game is. So I don't think we'll be seeing all of these characters constantly. Or at all even in the in this series. But um, at least I have the characters now just to play on my own whenever I feel like. Uh, you're also kind of golden seed I think. It's just too good. What else would I want? There we go. And this is gonna be a, f uh, a pyromancer, which I don't know how viable that is in this game. Since it's not even a starting class and there's not too many fi uh, pyromancy spells, fire spells that I encountered. But maybe I can switch it up. I don't know. I just, just want as many characters as I can to play with. <laughs> What's this spell do? Ah, okay, cool. Also, um, having watched the intro again after 120 hours of playing the game, things start to make a little more sense. <laughs> Not uh, completely, but a little bit. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, I think this is gonna be the episode. We're gonna die here. Oh, 
doesn't look too bad, honestly. Can I do no pull? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> So yeah, look at our roster. We got Mars Capona, almost 120 hours played. Um, level 145, hasn't seen the credits yet. No one has seen the credits. <laughs> we got Lazine the Sorceresses, uh, Kavarum the Cleric, Slua Strength Character, and Chotira the Pyromancer. Um, yeah. And like I said, it's gonna be too much to play all of them. I don't know how much we'll see of any or of all of them, of any of them. <laughs> but uh, I just want to have them ready so I can play off camera if I just feel like playing some Elden Ring, but I don't want to record it. And I don't know who's going to do what, who's going to go after which achievements. And l one, uh, once again, it may be Mars Capona. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Might be. Uh, more convenient. So I'm probably mostly gonna show Lazine, the sorceress, and um, there's a new thing right here in the beginning area, right away, that we haven't seen in our first playthrough. And I think this is the NPC they added later in the patch, the first big patch. You, you there. Could you help us out, Kali? Kali. So I was watching someone stream and they just started, so I was like, I can watch this. I can watch this stream. You? Y yeah, you there. Nothing's gonna Stop get spoiled. Pretending you can't see me. And then they ran into this guy right away, <laughs> so... <laughs> I can't see anything. What are these oh, messages doing here? Why won't anyone look me in the eye? I'm, I'm not... <laughs> What'd you go and do that for? I couldn't mm -hmm. see you. Oh, yes. I remember some clod turned me into a tree. A bush. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Sure. Thank you. The name's Bok. Bok. I was pushed out of the cave, told not to come back. Not ever. Aww. Then I ended up as a tree. A bush. <laughs> Lucky you came along, really. Mm, you sure are. Anything else? Oh, what a shame. Indeed. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned. Poor guy. And so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. A mushroom. Or... Or ten. Well, if you can afford to wait for a while, I could sneak back into the cave mm. and bring back something of actual value. Yeah, and sure. Then I'd be of some real use to you, I reckon. Cool. Right, but I'll need a moment. I'm, I'm frightened <laughs> of them, so I have to gather myself. That's fine. My knees start knocking, just thinking about that god awful cave on the shore. Okay, I think I know. Yeah, I know where that is. Right. I'm okay. My knee. Well, we we might go there. I don't know where he ends up. I guess we'll find out eventually. Oh god, he has, uh, this guy has... <laughs> this guy has dialogue. So if, you, if you're here, you get invaded by Bloody Finger Narius. Well, eventually this guy shows up. There we go. Oh, that's not a lot of damage. Ah, help me! <laughs> Got him. Nice. Don't have a lot of health. <laughs> got him, got him, got him. Help me! Nice. We'll have him heal. Ah! No! You let him heal. 
Got him. Stick the mosquito. Ah! Why can't I not get a backstab off? Ah! There we go, Jesus. Got him, got him, got him. No! Hmm, it's probably bad if he dies. Ah, got him. I don't know if there's a quest line involved with this. Could he, uh... Oh, yeah, we got his... Dagger, that's nice. I don't know if there's a quest line involved in this, and if 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 Yuya is that his name stays alive, if something else happens. But anyway, I was uh, looking for this cave here because in our uh, original playthrough we came to this cave quite late, and you can get there pretty early game without uh, any trouble. I, I, I'm innocent. I'm innocent. And he's gonna dodge everything. Or block it. I'm out. I'm outy. Don't spit at me. Haha, <laughs> he jumps over it. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> Don't kick me. <laughs> Don't kick me. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, yes. Wait, wait, please. What's up, buddy? Had enough yet? Do you actually surrender? You sure? Yeah. Well, finally come round, have you? <laughs> I knew you would. You're a lady of reason, through and through. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Lizine is more lady of reason than Marscapona for sure. <laughs> ah. Well, what do you know? You're tarnished like me. Yeah. Now, now how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> Dude. An innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? Sure. A true lady of reason. Just what I like about you. Oh, I'm you. Patches. Patches the untethered. Tarnished like you, only free-spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Okay. Only for now. Those retired soldiers turned bandits. Oh, they're paying for my gruel. Oh. In exchange for my, well, showing them the ropes. Oh. But honestly, <laughs> this looting racket is bloody terrifying. I Frankly, can imagine. I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. Oh, that'd be wonderful. So be a stranger. I'll, I'll come back. To wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> patches wheel, patches deal. But yeah, so cool they put patches in the game. Don't forget to pop back for another visit. I will. I'll be ready to wheel and deal. Come next time. Coolio, we'll visit you later. Beautiful clothes in the chest. I don't know why these clothes are in the chest. So yeah, the first time we fought Patches, we were so overleveled that we killed him right away. But I had a suspicion uh, that, that we could let him live. And indeed we can, so that's... 
quite cool. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. So, I'm here now. Uh, this is the first finger reader you encounter. She tells you about the castle. We're here on the map. I haven't, I've barely done anything. Um, we went to see Patches. That's about it, actually. <laughs> so, I rushed here. Uh, this is the castle. Big old castle. Um, two bosses. Two extremely... Well, two pretty difficult bosses here before you can go to the next area. Unless... Um, unless you go here, and I discovered this path on my original playthrough, but I, um, I came from the other side, so I was kind of confused what this was all about. So let's quickly, if we can, kill this guy quickly, quickly. I think I'll get it. Yeah, yes. Cool. Uh, where am I going? I think I need to go up. Oh, that's... Ah, that's tricky. I guess. That's how they hide the fact that you can easily go here. I don't know. Yeah, this cliff face leads all the way... All the way... All the way to... Liurnia of the Lakes. So now... We've passed the castle without actually going into the castle. So that's pretty cool. And then we can um, go to this church. There should be a guy here, if I remember correctly. Yes, and he's also a sorcerer. Tarnished, aren't you? And a sorcerer. So let's see. He's got I already have this one, I think. And I kind of have this one. So starlights. Well, it's not uh, it's not spectacular, but it's something. <laughs> and we got a sacred tear. So pretty cool. And then if you rush even further, you can get all the way here, which is um, let's walk inside, and it'll tell us the Church of Vows. I just remembered. <laughs> And we can talk to this guy. You're tarnished, aren't you? I sure am. I welcome I am Miriam. My apologies. Do so, you uh, know how it came to I don't wanna know. <laughs> it is by the matter and so <laughs> the earth. Yeah, yeah, they married and then he ran off with the oh, goddess. You are free. I would Poor girl. if you find it, unless in which case Okay, so I don't think Yeah, look at that. He also sells to sort ten thousand, okay. Uh, two sorceries, and we can give books to him. And we're quite far away on the map. And I haven't done anything. So, that's pretty cool. The only boss I've beaten is uh, Patches. I didn't even beat him. <laughs> so that's cool, and we're extremely underleveled for this area. Which is also pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're getting along nicely. It's nice to play off-camera, to just roam around a bit, to do a... Uh, not have to worry about talking all the time <laughs> or playing well. I don't even know if I do any of those um, particularly well when I'm playing as Mars Capona. <laughs> but uh, no matter, um, I'm having fun. I hope you have too. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.